how do you deal with it if you're stuck at home dealing with all the routine things while your partner's off on some exotic business trip or in a foreign country having a great time? I'm Kathy Bertilli from TheIntimacyDojo.com, and I'm here with Elizabeth Wood from VedEvents.com. Thanks for being here, Elizabeth. Oh, it's awesome. I love it any time I spend with you, Kathy. So I think that's a great question because we often have different travel schedules where we're, you know, like for, for instance, in my case, I'm the one home for most of January while my husband is on business, yeah. but he's on business in Hawaii. So, you know, how do I, you know, deal with the envy <laughs> well, and you're dealing with this, you had a big snowfall, so you have all this, this huge driveway with all the snow to shovel and different, you know, the day-to-day stuff that now you have to take not just your, your own, but the stuff he usually takes care of. Yeah, like um, a snowblower, a massive snowblower that's self-propelled, it wasn't a pretty picture. But what I, what, how I'm dealing with that is constant contact, or as much contact as we have, I shouldn't say contact, but daily check-ins, mm-hmm. letting them know via... Um, Facebook, uh, private messaging, and also texting what's going on, joking about the fact that if he saw the um, pattern that I made in the driveway, he might laugh. I have this um, vision of you like snow blowing part of the yard. and. Um, well, there was a mound that I thought was a snow mound, and it was actually gravel. So it wasn't a pretty picture, Kathy. Um, but, you know, I know he's on business. I know it's so sweet. What ends up happening is he calls me and he tells me what he's doing and how excited the participants are. And that helps me not feel so resentful. Yeah. Because if, if, if it weren't a business trip, then I would be there. But he's working so hard. And to remind myself of how many hours he's working, how little sleep he's getting, and the fact that he's sleeping on a two-inch memory foam, uh, it kind of makes the, the snow blowing slash snow shoveling a little bit easier. How do you think you might handle that? Uh, when I try to remember, like, there's going to be jealousy sometimes. We all have fear of missing out, FOMO, like, oh, I'm not getting to do the fun thing. But realizing that, you know, I also get to travel too, and, you know, people pick up the slack when I'm doing that. Um, I think it's important to recognize that we can't always just pick up everything that the other person leaves behind. We have full lives ourselves and like all of a sudden we have all these other tasks and saying, Hey, I can pick up this and this, but that one, I think you should reschedule for after you get back or we should hire someone to come in and clean the house, for example, or do the driveway. Like that was just too much for me. If that were the case, kind of looking ahead and saying, if we have these, how can I cushion and support myself? while I'm trying to take care of things two people normally do. And I love the, the, the check-ins. I know it's harder when someone's traveling because they don't always have the same, they might be in a very different time zone and they don't always know what their time schedule is. But I've done things like, hey, I don't care what time you get home at night, could you just you know call me on Skype for you know two minutes so we can say goodnight to each other. I'll wake up, I'll leave it by my, my bed. Whatever that is to help me feel like I'm not they haven't forgotten me because they're off in this beautiful, wonderful place, and you know I'm home stuck watching the home fires burn. Oh, and then you get to have a really nice reunion when they come back and have missed you as much as they have. I also think that sometimes, and and tell me if you feel this way, it's kind of, or this is how, and and I don't know if it's right or wrong, but this is how I said this to my husband. Like, listen. The onus is on you because you're far busier. I have my routine. I know what's happening Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every yeah. day of the week. Because you're home. Yeah, and you, the onus is on you, sort of. And, and I didn't mean, I didn't say it that harshly, but yeah. I'm going to ask you to go out of your way to create those spaces to get in contact with me because while you're in Hawaii doing exotic things, I'm the one doing the laundry, shoveling the snow. Mm-hmm. So if you could take more responsibility and fit me in, that would make me feel really appreciated right. and you know not so alone in, in a snowstorm. Right. It's really hard for you to know when to call him. You don't know what he's doing. Um, one thing, and I want to acknowledge, I got this from Reed Mahako too, he talks about con drops. Um, and he talks about having a date before he goes away with his partner and scheduling one for when they get back. So like he puts it in the calendar, like the night before he leaves or two nights before he leaves, he has a nice date where they spend a lot of time, you know, like romantic time. And then when he comes back, maybe it's not that night because he might be too tired, but 
but it might be a night or two later. It's scheduled in the calendar. They know they're going to have that reconnection time. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we should talk about some of the things we can. Let's come back and do another video about what you can do if you're on the road. Perfect. Awesome. Leave comments below. What do you do when your partner or your support oh, person? When you're the one at home, what yeah. do you do? Yeah. How's that one? Great. Leave comments. Congratulations on taking this time for yourself and learning these things. If you'd like to follow more of this, you can subscribe to my channel here. Social media is up here. And there's more videos of this type here. See you soon.